Hi Teresa, how's it going everyone? Hope it's feeling great as always. Um, in this one, I like to go over a different training method, which is called Jikyo Chuke Training. So what do you do? It's really simple. Whatever that jumps into your sight, let's express it in English. And what's great about this training is that you can do it anytime, anywhere. And also, whatever that jumps into your sight becomes your English study materials. And it's free. But when you hear these suggestions, some people might say, I don't know, it's not for me. And I totally understand when you feel like, I don't really know what and how to say in English. So in this video, I'd like to share a few tips that hopefully make you go, hmm, maybe I can try doing this. Yeah, I'll try it. So my suggestion is this. Looking at a one scene, let's categorize in three topics. Category one, focus on a person. Observe what this person is doing and express whatever in English. And second category is focus on things. So try to spot the things in the scene and try to express, try to describe where it's located, what this thing looks like. And the last category is focus on your feelings and thoughts. So looking at the scene, what do you feel? What do you think about? Let's express all those things in English. And by repeating this training when things or when some scene jumps into your sight, the way you create the English phrases and the sentences will strengthen up and also it will create a great habit of thinking in English even without trying. Alright, so now that I explained how it works, let's go over two pictures and see how we can do this training. You guys ready? Alright, so here's picture one. So again, let's separate into three categories. One, focus on person. Two, focus on things. And three, focus on your feelings and thoughts. So looking at this scene and focusing on person, the actions, what the person is doing, we can create sentences like this. 女性が電話をしている A lady is calling A lady is calling 女性は道を歩いている A lady is walking down the street A lady is walking down the street 女性は紙袋を右手で持っている A lady is holding a paper bag with the right hand A lady is holding a paper bag with the right hand Last one for category on person. 女性はマスクをつけている A lady is wearing a mask. A lady is wearing a mask. Okay, so let's move on to category 2, focus on things. すごい晴れてるな It's very sunny. It's very sunny. 女性の後ろに看板があるな There's a signboard behind the lady. There's a signboard behind the lady. I can see a red brick by the signboard. I can see a red brick by the signboard. It's a little blurry though. And category 3. Focus on your feelings and thoughts looking at this scene. I love her yellow shirt. I love her yellow shirt. Maybe she went grocery shopping. Maybe she went grocery shopping. Her hair looks very nice. Her hair looks very nice. So if I were to say things looking at this scene, I will probably say things like this. Looks like her mask is a little too big. Looks like her mask is a little too big. Her belt is so thin. Her belt is like so thin. I like the combination of yellow and green. I love the combination of yellow and green. Maybe the strap of the purse is like a little too long? Maybe the strap of the purse is a little too long? I don't know. I hope she didn't buy any meat. It looks so hot outside. I hope she didn't buy any meat. It looks so hot outside. So that's what I would say looking at this scene. Okay, so let's try picture two. All right, so there's another picture and then let's try next three categories. You guys ready? Category one, focus on person. So in this scene, we see two people so we can talk about either one. 男性は両手にバッグを持っている. 
A man is holding bags on both hands. A man is holding bags on both hands. 年老いた女性はウォーカーのサポートで歩いている。An old woman is walking with the support of walker. An old woman is walking with the support of walker. 男性は横断歩道を渡っている。A man is crossing the crosswalk. A man is crossing the crosswalk. 彼は年老いた女性の後ろを歩いている。A man is walking behind the old woman. A man is walking behind the old woman. Category 2 talking about things and the situations. この横断歩道は黄色い。This crosswalk is yellow. This crosswalk is yellow. 後ろのお店は開いている。The store in the back is open. The store in the back is open. クリーム色の建物がある。There's a cream color building. There's a cream color building. 木の横にいい影がある。There's a nice shade by the trees. There's a nice shade by the trees. Alright, let's go category 3. Focus on your feelings and thoughts. この街きれいだな。This is a beautiful place. This is a beautiful place. あのおばあちゃん何歳くらいだろう I wonder how old that older woman is. I wonder how old that older woman is. この男の人どこ行くんだろう Where is this man going? Where is this man going? Okay, so if I were to say things looking at this scene, what would I say?、Um, let's see. なんでこの人二つもバッグ持ってんの Why does he have two bags? Why does he have two bags? Ah, このおばあちゃん助けてあげたかったな I wish I could have helped this older woman. I wish I could have helped this older woman. なんかこの木の横にカフェとかあったらいいな If there's a cafe by the tree, it would be nice. If there's a cafe by the tree, it would be nice. Woohoo! Thank you so much for watching, everyone. So, we went over another trading method.、Um, once again, let's go over the three categories really quickly. One, focus on person, people, the action they're doing. Second category is focus on things or the situation. What things do you see? Where it's located? What's this thing look like? And category three, focus on your feelings or thoughts. What things can you express by looking at this scene? And also, when you're doing this training, if you start to feel, I'm always saying the same thing all the time. There are videos that I'm sharing、um, with the different phrases. You can also look up the Google to check on the new vocabularies so you can accumulate your phrases and vocabularies. But, anyways, I hope this video was helpful for you and、um, I hope you enjoyed watching this.、Um, yes, thank you for watching. I'll see you till next time. Goodbye.